You know, it's interesting because you think of, you know, Butch and Sonny, of course, are the astronauts on top of the rocket right now and the ones going to space, but they really do represent, you know, that huge family of NASA and Boeing and all everybody that's worked so hard uh, to get AC. to this point. Go ahead, AC. Okay, evaluating the uh, uh, SRV, we're most likely uh, uh, getting above the uh, call uh, cycles of this valve. Uh, we still have two uh, plus hours to go, so uh, most likely exceeding the uh, the fall value. Uh, we do not have a path to proceed uh, uh, further at this point. Roger. So uh, at this point, your recommendation is to uh, secure operations for today? That is correct. Roger. LD, LC on channel one. Yes, sir. Um, LD concurs with that. Roger. Uh, flight and slick, channel one. Flight, sir. Slick's on channel one. Yeah, Roger. Uh, so the engineering team has evaluated um, the vehicle is not uh, in a configuration where we can proceed with uh, flight today. So uh, we're going to initiate uh, our scrub and recycle operation. Roger. Flight copy. Roger. And if you're just joining us, I'll look at the clock well, here. Well, personnel, this is uh, LC on channel one. Let's turn to page 187, scrub crew egress operations. Again, the clock two hours ahead of what we were targeting, a 10.34 and 14 second p.m. Eastern time liftoff. But you just heard from the launch team that we are scrubbing. OSM, LC. OSM, go ahead, sir. Establish the BDA roadblocks and open the flight hazard area. Roger. All personnel on channel one will be starting an estimated 65 minute hold at this time for flight crew egress. All systems maintain T minus four configuration. As we hear some communication between team members, let's get it over to ULA's Dylan Rice to walk us through what we know so far and what we can expect moving forward today. Thanks, Megan. So um, the team has uh, had some observations on a uh, uh, an oxygen uh, relief valve on our Centaur second stage, and uh, the team is just not comfortable with the uh, the signatures that they're seeing the response out of that out of that valve. And so, out of an abundance of caution, uh, we are not going to um, continue with our launch operations today. And uh, as you heard, uh, the Chief Launch Conductor Doug Lebo call the uh, the team there and have the team prepare for for scrub Starliner operations and uh, one, uh, to prep for removal of the crew from Starliner. Uh, so the next steps, the uh, the team is going to be maintaining the uh, configuration of the rocket and uh, we'll we'll begin the process of uh, of uh, egressing the crew. And uh, once once the uh, crew is um, egressed and the the uh, blue team is uh, safely left the pad, uh, at that point we'll begin. Um, detanking the uh, rocket and uh, securing for the evening so that teams can uh, continue to review data and uh, troubleshoot the um, signature noted with the um, valve on board Centaur. Of channel one. Disappointing, Go ahead, sir. Sunny yes, sir. So uh, you, you may have heard on channel one, we're standing down for today. So uh, starting to initiate getting the vehicle in configuration to uh, egress the crew. Roger, welcome. So as saying, Sunny even said, you know, nothing special about this date on the calendar. We will go when we're ready. Not today, but we'll try this again. Okay. 